What is going on you guys? Thank you all so much for watching. So this week I had the pleasure of having the Volvo S60 for seven entire days. And in this review, I'm gonna show you every single detail about this car. So we're gonna see the exterior, the interior, of course take it for a drive, and then at the end I'll even show you guys what this thing looks like at night. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so jumping right into it, you guys. This is the Volvo S60 T6 all-wheel drive R design. So there are different levels you can go to. You can get the momentum, you can go up to the R design, which is this one, then you also have the inscription. Now above this, you have the T8, which is the plug-in hybrid. So your plug is actually gonna be right here whenever you get the plug-in hybrid. That's gonna be about 400 horsepower, four, mid 400 pound feet of torque. Uh, and then above that you have the S60 Polestar engineered, which is the top dog, basically Volvo's version of like an M3, if you will. But this one is finished off in this beautiful orange color. It is incredible, it's about a $645 option, but it is worth every penny. It looks beautiful as you guys can see here. It's got tons of metallic flake in it and it's just an overall really good look. All right, so this car as is is priced right around $55,400. $90. That's a good chunk of change, uh, but as you guys will see, you get a lot of car and it definitely does everything it can to justify that price. Now coming to the front, you have your typical Volvo design. Love the front end of this car. It looks really, really nice. Has a nice aggressive wide stance to it, especially directly from the front. It looks fantastic. Now coming down here, you have the T-shaped LED or Thor's hammer as people like to call it, uh, especially if you have just seen Avengers Endgame, fantastic movie, shameless plug. Uh, but you have full LED lights on this car, 100% LEDs. So once again, daytime running light looks great, especially during the day when you're driving around, even looks fantastic at night, obviously. Uh, full LEDs, low beams, high beams, those also look great at night. So when the car is fully lit up, looks fantastic. And then as you go down here, you have full LED lights down there as well. Now one thing I do like is you have a turn signal LED or just a corner LED so when you turn your signal on or if you turn the signal to the left at night it'll shine out there and then basically illuminate your path if you're going left or right which really helps especially out here in Fort Worth, Texas where I live. It does a great job of illuminating these really really dark roads at night. Now coming over here, uh, oh sorry one more thing, you have adaptive lights in here so they do turn left and right with the steering wheel just in case you guys are wondering. So like I was gonna say, uh, signature Volvo grill right here in the middle. I've got this satin silver coming around the outside of it. Uh, just love the design right here. Just once again, really nice design. You've got tons of piano black here, 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 over here, piano black right in the middle of the grill right there. It looks very nice. And then you have your intercooler right down here because you have your twin charged engine, which is supercharged and turbocharged, if you guys did not know that. And then coming up, I actually love the creases on the hood. They look really sharp not too much really elegant has a nice power presence to it and i really dig the design of this car all right so coming off to the side you guys can see my shadow here so i do apologize uh you have 19 inch wheels they're going to be sort of like a silver with a matte finish to them so it's not going to be a gloss black uh, i really like the way they look so let me get a little bit closer i can show you guys right here so they look really really nice and it gives the car a really good side profile, in my opinion. So these are 19 inch wheels wrapped in 235-40 Continental tires. So you're gonna have 235-40s all the way around the car. And one detail I do like is right above the wheel well, we've got this little crease right here, which looks great. Let me get out of the way, because that way you can see it. I think that looks fantastic. And once you come down the car a little bit, you're gonna have these blacked out mirror caps, which are gonna come with the R design. It's also gonna black out what would usually be chrome trim around the window here. And if I step back a little bit, look at this side profile. This thing definitely looks like BMW 3 Series. Like it looks more like the new BMW 3 Series more than anything. This car is seriously going to age very, very well. Then as you come back, you've got this strong line which is gonna go right over the rear wheel well back here. And that looks really great. Gives it a nice stance. And I love how every single part of the car is painted. You don't have anything really that's going to be like plastic or anything like that. So it really helps it look good. But this has to be my favorite angle. Looks fantastic from this angle. Love the rear LED lights on here. 
they look great. It's like this double C shape. And of course, at night, they look fantastic. Um, it gives this car a very expensive look. And Volvo's just killing it with the design lately, guys. I don't know about you, but I think this is seriously one of the best looking sedans, especially if I get back here and we'll check it out just head on right there. Like, look at this thing. This is really a gorgeous car. I mean, I may be a little biased because I've had it in my driveway for the past, you know, four days. So, you know, it's hard for me to not think it looks good. But seriously, I've driven many cars and this design, I can tell just in 10 years, this will still be considered a good looking car just because it's not too much. It's not too out there. It's very, very elegant. And I love that. So Volvo here, you have sort of this spoiler that's kind of built in. Hopefully you guys can see that there. It's really, really small. So uh, probably wouldn't even consider that to be anything, to be honest with you guys. Then as you come back here, you are going to have your dual exhaust outlets. Now these aren't going to be the actual exhaust tips. Your exhaust is within there. So at least these aren't fake exhausts like some cars have been going to. And then you're going to have some piano black surrounding that there. Then as you come up over here, you're going to have your T6 R design and all wheel drive badge. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a little bit of a shadow back here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the overall design of this car. You can vote by clicking in the card up in this top right hand corner. All right, so getting into the S60. Now here's your key. Here's your Volvo key. Let me try to get out of the way so a little more sun on it. So it's got this black leather here, your Volvo symbol there. On this side, you're gonna have your panic. And then over here, you're gonna have your lock, your unlock, your rear trunk release. It's pretty much gonna be it. And it's got this little Swedish flag on here. This is definitely an accessory for sure. Volvo threw it on, but I thought it was a nice little touch. Now you can use the key, of course, to get in. I actually like the beep that it makes. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Now, if you come up to the door though, you do have, of course, keyless entry, which is pretty much standard nowadays. Uh, you're gonna have this big indent right here. And you put your thumb there. That's going to lock it. Hopefully you heard that beep again. Mirror is gonna fold in, and then there's a touch pad behind here. That's gonna unlock the car. Mirrors are gonna fold out. Now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and check out this interior. All right, so coming to the door of the Volvo S60. Now, first of all, you have this like textile fabric material here. Um, now, usually fabric in this level of a vehicle, especially at this price, is sort of looked down upon, but I actually like the way this looks. It looks pretty cool. And on the lower level trims, you can get this neat looking sort of like plaid style. Uh, reminds me of the base version of like a Golf GTI. Not really comparing the two, so forgive me if anyone is offended by me comparing this to a GTI, but I actually love those seats and I love the plaid you can get on the base model of or the fabric you can get on the base model of this car I think it looks really nice so I don't mind things like this personally I think it looks really cool and then coming below here you've got some nice uh, leather here with white stitching going across there then as you come up you're going to have your window controls your child uh, window locks for the back and then your mirror controls and if you push both of these simultaneously they will fold in your mirrors for you Coming up, you have your Bowers and Wilkins sound system. You can see your Kevlar speaker right there. Two memory seat settings, of course your door locks. You've got this real thick all metal uh, door handle here, which is really nice. You're also going to have double pane windows on both front pieces of glass. Then as you come down, you have this R design badge right here. Looks really nice. It does not illuminate or anything. It just looks great during the day. You are going to have aluminum pedals and hopefully if you guys can see this, you can even see like the brushed aluminum look on them, which is pretty crazy considering you're putting your feet on that most of the time. Then as you come to the seats, the one thing Volvo is known for is having some of the most comfortable seats. So you have all of your seat settings right down there. You of course have your thigh extender with this nice area here that really holds you in place. You've got more of that fabric material right there. And then you're gonna have your white contrast stitching with the contrast piping going all up the side of it and they are really good looking seats as well as being extremely comfortable and it says our design right up here in the headrest but let's go ahead and hop inside and we'll check out the rest of the car 
really solid shut. I like that a lot. All right, and to start the car, you've got this little guy here. You just put your foot in the brake, turn that to start. Now, first thing I want to start off with is going to be the steering wheel. So it is specific to the R design. So it does have a really nice look to it. Full leather, you're going to have white contrast stitching here, your R design badge is going to be right down here, if you guys can see that, with some piano black surrounding that. Volvo symbol here, over here to your left, you have your cruise control settings. So I just tap that right in the middle to turn on cruise control, and then I can hit left or right to go from normal cruise control or pilot assist, which basically, I'll show you guys that later. Um, and then your distance, and then your speed right here. Over to the right, you have all of your media settings, volume, previous, next, this to control the screens there, or the menus there voice commands, and then your paddle shifters right back here for your eight speed automatic. Now you are going to have um, wipers right here. So you do have your wipers there. You are going to have your lights over here. So you have your automatic lights, you have your front fogs, and you have the rear lights, basically like rear bright lights to help brighten up the car at night so people can see you more. And then right on the end, you're gonna have your trip reset right there, if you guys can see that. Now coming to this screen, it's really simplistic. So if I hit that menu button you guys saw, it's basically going to take me through some of these things here. Navigation, phone, media, and that's it. That's literally it. You can adjust this here in the middle and you can adjust what the gauges look like. Uh, but other than that, it's very, very simplistic and it stays on this screen for the most part. Now coming over here, you have interior illumination right down here. Your trunk release right there. You are going to have some nice metal here with this interesting textile look so you guys can get a closer look at that right there looks really nice then as you come up you have your vents with this really nice aluminum piece here and you just twist it twist it excuse me to uh, turn the vent on and off you're gonna have some more leather here with some stitching you've got your heads-up display right up here if you guys can see that hopefully so there is your heads-up display floating away right there looks great and then you have your Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which is, if you guys have seen any of my reviews, you know, it's, it, I think personally, it's the best sound system in any current car right now, at least out of the cars I've driven. The only ones I haven't driven is let's say like a Burmeister from Mercedes Benz, which I hear is pretty good. Uh, but even still, this one is ridiculously good. And as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to attempt to show you guys how good it is. Uh, so if you have headphones, I highly recommend putting those in now. So I'm going to do a little sound test. This is a non-copyrighted song, so you guys don't have to worry about that. But check this out. As you guys can hear, hopefully, uh, it's really good. The clarity's great, the bass is really good, um, and everything just sounds fantastic. And of course, that leather extends all the way here. You've got more leather right here, more of that textile look, uh, more of this beautiful chrome, and then you've got your touchscreen, which is a fantastic touchscreen. Volvo did a great job. The feedback is fantastic. It's really fast, so I can swipe through just like this and it works really, really well. So if I get a little bit closer, you have a ton of functionality through here. So ESC, lane keeping, all of your safety vehicle functions here. Then as you come down, you have your camera. One of the clearest cameras I've seen, so right up there with like uh, Tesla's backup camera, this is about as clear as that. It's very, very good. Now it will park itself, and it will park out of parking spots as well. You've got a 360 camera view right there. And the cool part is once you're on your 360 view, I can click any of these cameras to see that angle. So for example, if I'm next to a curb, I can click here to see how close I am to that curb, adjust my lines, my sensors, all kinds of different things like that. And then as I, if I come down right here, I can fold down my rear headrest by just pushing that button. So if I face this towards the rear and I push that button, there you go. So that's basically uh, to help you see out of the rear view mirror if the headrests were in your, ray, in your way for any reason. Heads up display adjustments, um, 
you know, everything you literally need. The coolest part is this right here. So if you've ever had to move up the passenger seat for any reason, I can hit this and then using my seat controls on my seat, I can move the um, passenger seat forwards and backwards. So that is really, really nice. And yeah, just everything on here. Then if I pull this down, you have more settings through here, which I can go through, do like my sound, for example. So let me show you guys how in depth this is. So not only do you have your normal tone and everything right here, you have all these equalizer settings and you can get super in depth and even customize all of your equalizer settings. So if you're really big on specific frequencies, you can really adjust that. And then on top of that, Volvo does have this sound experience setting to go through with studio, individual stage, concert hall, which um, basically tries to synthetically replicate the Gothenburg concert hall. And if you guys have probably seen the Volvo commercials with the opera lady singing, and yeah, it's really, really cool and it sounds fantastic. And then over here, you've got more connected features you can use down here if your vehicle is connected to internet and all kinds of things. So heated seats, heated steering wheel on both sides. You don't have cooled seats on here, unfortunately, and you can adjust each of your um, climates using that right there. And then if I hold this button, it'll take me into like a screen cleaning mode right there and then I tap it one more time to pull it back up so really cool stuff and of course this does have Apple CarPlay very intuitive system I like it a lot hazards uh, more buttons to correlate so like front defrost rear defrost previous next volume knob right here with your play and pause in the middle then you've got your shifter real nice shifter sounds good going through the gears slap left to put it into its manual mode and then of course reverse will pull up your backup camera just like I showed you guys you have a little area here, which I can sort of pull this shut. Hopefully you guys can see this. So that area there, I can pull that shut. And then you've got this area here, which is going to, it's going to be your cup holders. And you can cover that or uncover it, whichever makes you happy. Um, of course, your start here, your drive mode selector, which I think that thing looks awesome, especially when you're rolling through it on a sunny day, it like glistens and it just looks really cool. Uh, electronic parking brake right there, brake hold right here and then coming back a little bit you are going to have your armrest which my arm can fit on there no issues there so my arm does fit and then if i lift that up you do have a little bit of storage space in here you've got a usb two usbs and a little bit of storage space right in there uh your glove box is going to be lockable and it's cooled so you can definitely throw like a snickers in there you don't have to worry about it melting frameless mirror design you're going to have this for your moonroof. So you have a shade right there. It does open, of course. And you have LED lights in here. So you guys can see that. Vanity mirror with an LED there as well. And yeah, it's a, it's a very, very good setup. And of course, the interior in here does look great at night. So you have LED lighting uh, in the foot wells. You've got LED lighting all throughout the car. And you can even adjust the mood lighting on here to be different colors either according to what color you want or the temperature in the car it's pretty cool pretty much it for the front seats let's hop in the rear check out the room all right you guys so sitting inside the s60 sedan now sitting behind myself six feet tall um i've got a really decent amount of room i'd say that's about four inches or so of knee room which is great my feet room is fine i can slide my feet underneath here no big deal uh your transmission tunnel hump is pretty large um, it's not the largest I've seen but it is pretty large so putting someone here in the middle uh, they would have to straddle this hump right here now one thing I do want to mention is of course you have a fold down armrest you've got this super shallow area here not sure what you can put there maybe a phone uh, maybe a set of keys not really sure you lift that up you've got storage space under there which is a little bit deeper and then you of course have your cup holders here which not really a huge fan of these just because they're so flimsy they really don't make your drink feel very secure uh, and then of course you have a pass-through right here that you can use uh, if you fold it down from the inside now another thing i do want to point out is if you guys can see this here you have this like 120 volt plug but you don't have usb ports back here um, so nowhere here does it have usb ports which is unfortunate because that's kind of a thing you come to expect in this price point uh, then you also have your controls here to adjust your AC you have heated seats back here uh, you're also gonna have map pockets behind each seat right here now another thing I do want to point out you do have LED lights back here of course you have your handle here you have two hooks for dry cleaning and you're gonna have 
four sets of vents back here. So you have two vents in the middle, you have two vents here on the outside. And I really like these outside vents, um, especially if, let's say if you have children in car seats, it does a great job of blowing the air on the actual child versus blowing the air and it just hitting the bottom of the car seat. Uh, so you do have that. Now my headroom is pretty decent. Um, once again, six feet tall and you know, I have big hair. So my head is, or my hair is scraping right now. And it's pretty decent. If it weren't for my hair, I'd probably be decently comfortable, but I can feel it scraping and it's kind of annoying to me a little bit. But yeah, for the most part, uh, the back seat is a pretty comfortable place to be. Uh, all the materials are pretty much the same as the front. And yeah, so let's go ahead and see the trunk space. All right, you guys, so coming to the back of the Volvo S60 sedan. Now you have a decent amount of room back here. I'm trying to brighten it up here so you guys can see. Uh, a decent amount of space. You have two pull tabs right up here, and you're gonna pull those to fold the seats down. You also have a middle pass-through there. Uh, sorry, I cleaned the car up earlier, so I have a little rag here and some, some wax stuff, but uh, you are going to have a 12 volt there. Tiny, tiny, super shallow storage pocket or storage area right there and then underneath you're gonna have your spare and yeah it's a pretty decent size uh, trunk the opening is very wide uh, so that is great if you're gonna get things in and out uh, makes everything a lot easier and you do have this button here to basically put down the rear trunk and lock it at the same time and then of course you have your emergency release right there in case you decide you want to kidnap somebody so Let's go ahead and check out what's underneath the hood. All right, so coming into the hood of the Volvo S60 sedan. Now remember, this is the T6, not the T8. So this is going to be the twin charged four cylinder engine. So twin charge basically means it is supercharged and turbocharged, makes a total output of 316 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. Now, because you have the supercharger, that's gonna work when you're, for your instant, acceleration off the line and then your turbocharger is going to kick up for more high-end power now here are the fuel economy specs if you guys care about that if you want to see fuel economy specs it's pretty decent once again this is all-wheel drive so this is going to be sending power to all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters so i'm very excited to drive this thing let's go ahead and get it on the road all right so driving the volvo s60 t6 r design all-wheel drive sedan so you guys just heard all of the power figures the engine so this is a four-cylinder you know supercharged turbocharged engine and 316 horsepower 295 pound-feet of torque the biggest compliment I can give this engine is that it does not feel like a super pumped up four-cylinder it doesn't it feels more like a turbocharged six cylinder than anything um, now that's once again the biggest compliment I can give this engine just because it feels so torque rich whenever you drive this thing that you almost have to keep reminding yourself that this is only a four cylinder engine and maybe it's just me but I encourage you guys to get out there and drive it and see what I'm talking about for yourselves but it does a great job of just giving you that perfect amount of thrust that you need. The second thing that you notice is how good this chassis is. It's phenomenal, guys. And you know a chassis is good when it genuinely just catches you off guard with how sharp and how just well balanced it is. I did not expect this car to handle the way that it does. So that in itself just really took me by surprise. As a matter of fact, if I were to compare this to one vehicle in terms of dynamics, uh, it really reminds me of the Genesis G70 a lot. Uh, it feels a little bit more planted than the G70. The G70 felt very, very light, almost like it was like on its tiptoes kind of feel. This feels very sure-footed and just really, really flat. Um, and I personally prefer that, but the G70 I drove, um, you guys can watch that review, click the link in my description to check it out. But that one was rear wheel drive, so that makes more sense why it felt very just playful. Uh, now, of course, this being all wheel drive, it puts the power down really well. I will say that um, the transmission, at least in manual mode, is a really, really big letdown. So if you plan on using the paddle shifters, it's not very good. So right now we're in just a normal comfort mode. 
The suspension is great, it is adaptive, so it does change depending on what mode you're in. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into dynamic mode. And then all I gotta do is swipe this way, throw it into ESC Sport, slap it over, and the downshifts take a bit, but chucking it into the corner, you guys can see it really, really does a great job. And the upshifts do take a little bit. They're not very, very fast, but they're quick enough. It's almost like they want to, they're not really consistent with how quick they are. Sometimes you'll shift and you're like, man, that was a really quick response time. Other times you'll shift and it just won't be as quick. So with the paddles, it's not very consistent. Downshifts once again, there we go. So they do take a while. So it's not satisfying by any means whenever you use the paddles, um, which is really unfortunate for how good this car is. However, um, I will say this is one of the few cars that you can drive it in just normal automatic mode. And it does a great job of, you know, doing its thing. So right now, if I floor it, it downshifts. <laughs> and you actually get a nice burble from that exhaust. Um, that's another thing that really makes me forget that this is a four cylinder. It almost has like a V6 burble. Now there is a little bit of lag. Um, now in gear, it's it's pretty okay. So right now, third gear, 4,000 RPM. If I just foot to the floor right now. So, okay, yeah, I take that back. It's got a good amount of lag. Um, so you guys can see there, even though it's supercharged and turbocharged, the supercharger really doesn't kick in like you expect it to, to fill in where the turbo lag would happen. You still get the turbo lag. The supercharger really just does its thing at really low RPMs. Once you're higher up in the rev range, it's just full turbocharger. Uh, occasionally you can hear the supercharger whining, but uh, for the most part, it's usually just turbo once you're above like 2000. See, sometimes it really doesn't even respond to your shift inputs, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but like I said, the transmission is really the biggest downside. Uh, depending on who you are, that may even be a deal breaker for you. Um, I know it's something that would definitely deter me from buying this car, um, but you know, most people that buy this car aren't going to buy it to be shifting themselves and just be very sporty and dynamic with it. This is more of a looks package. The fact that it's quick, the fact that it has a great engine, great chassis, it's really just icing on the cake um, because this thing is beautiful. Uh, of course, it's a Volvo, so it's extremely safe. Your um, vision out of the car is great, so I've got a big wide windshield. Uh, the side mirrors are big. Rear view is fantastic. I have virtually no blind spots. And of course, you have all of your safety features. Uh, this does have the um, co-pilot, so you can put it into cruise control, and then it has a form of autopilot, if you will. But um, you have to put your hands on the wheel like every five to 10 seconds. It just consistently tells you to keep putting your hands on the wheel. But um, yeah, it's a really good car for, for what it is. The S60 really did surprise me. Um, it's got the perfect mix of just luxury, of style, performance, handling. It's just a really nice car to drive every day. This week with it has been fantastic. But thank you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you like car content. I post new videos every single week. Uh, be sure to comment below what you guys want to see me review next. Um, I'm always listening to my commenters, uh, so I really want to know what you guys want to see. And just be sure to follow me on Instagram and be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, all the above, share it, and I will see you guys next review. Y'all take care. Bye.